Hello YouTubers and welcome to my kitchen. Today I will show you how you can make special pizza boats or panini. It's actually individual small pizzas but in different shape. I will show you the perfect way to make the dough very very soft, very very crunchy and the stuffing will be tasty. First we have to start with the dough. We need a bowl and we will add the water, room temperature, the yeast and the sugar. Whisk to combine and make sure the yeast is dissolved. At this point it's good to rest this mixer for at least 10 minutes. If you don't have time, just put all the other ingredients inside. The strong flour, the whole wheat flour and the salt. And now it's time for the mixer. Hook attachment and beat at least 5 minutes. We need to activate the gluten from the strong flour. If you don't have a strong mixer, just knead the dough with your hands for at least 5 minutes. My dough is ready. And look at this. This is the way it should look like. Now, it's time to let it rest and rise. I have a nice bowl here. I will add some oil. Of course, I'm adding extra virgin Greek olive oil. The dough in. And I need a plastic cup. And I will leave it at the side at room temperature for at least one to one and a half hours until it doubles in size. Then we will prepare the pizza bowl. My dough is ready and look at that. The yeast activates into the dough. Can you see all these small bubbles on the dough? This is what we want. Now dust some flour and divide the dough into five. Now we need more flour. And now it's time to roll the dough. And now you can shape it like this. Now we'll carry on with the next one. If the dough stick on the rolling pin, please just dust a bit more flour. And the last one is ready. And now it's time to put the filling. I have some butter here and I will use my hands, put some small nodes of butter on the dough like this and you need to buy a good quality butter. As you can see I add no fats into the dough so we will give the fats that the dough needs with the butter. Perfect. And now it's time to make the cheese mixer. You don't need a lot of ingredients, just three of them. We need Gruyere cheese, cream cheese and some pepper. Mix. It's time again to use my hands. This is the good way to make those recipes. In a way, it's a handmade recipe, so we have to use our hands. And look at this. And now it's time for Mr. Bacon. And you don't need a lot, just a bit of it to give this smoky flavor to the pizza boats. So just sprinkle to the top and that's it. You can put any ingredients you like, like pastrami, like um, nice ham, like um, uh, goat cheese, like um, what else, like this? like tomato. You can put anything you want on your own homemade, handmade, penny or pizza boats. Butter, cheese and bacon, that's it. Now, cover the edges. And secure the tops of the pizza boats here, like this. Just give some space to the middle, that's it. When we cook them, they will open like butterfly and they will become so, so beautiful. My oven is preheated to 210 degrees Celsius set to fan 
and I will cook them approximately 15 to 20 minutes. And into the oven they go. My penny are ready. And the smell is stunning. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Please, while they are still hot from the oven, take some melted butter and just put some at the door so it will soak all this lovely butter. So crunchy, but so fluffy at the same time. It's time to serve. And I want to show you how crunchy they are on the bottom. I will add some oregano. And this one is for me. Look all this cheesy feeling. These guys, we can call it sex. It is sex. Please try it. It's good for you. <laughs> okay, I cannot describe this lovely snack. Uh, it is amazing. It is homemade. Your whole uh, kitchen will smell butter. It is delicious. Please subscribe to my channel. Please make comments under in the video. And please share this recipe with your friends. And when you try this lovely penerli, please let me know your thoughts. I hope you enjoy it. See you next time. Bye bye. Yasas. <laughs>